Hola, everyone, and welcome to another video on my channel. Or, what is this? What? What? No way. Could this be an actual Let's Play for... What? What? What's this? This... This... Can what? Get to work? What's this? What's this? Oh, 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 does everyone see this? W welcome to The Sims 4 Get to Work. We have the detective career. <coughs> oh god, sorry, that was gross. The doctor career, scientist career, and retail career. And what we're about to do is greet a new household. Hold on, I don't know if like, that's actually... Let me go back to the, the main menu. Oh. First off, sneak peek. I'm just kidding. We, this, this probably won't even be in the video. Actually, it will. I won't even edit this part. I'll just upload it. So it's as wretched as I want it to be. So... New game. Here we go. Okay. New game. <laughs> Finaya Skuno. So, first, I'm going to give them their names and everything, and then we will get back with the Sims and go over. Like, I'll get them how I want to, them to look, and then we'll go over, like, the clothes and everything. So I shall be right back.
Okay, and finally back with four sims. So we'll go over their traits and their personality and stuff oh. before we get into their clues that I have already picked out for them. So here we have Lacey Connors. Oh, one thing I haven't done yet. <laughs> Yumble Aragaba. Ambuya Askana. Mm hmm. Ooh. That will be her walk. Style. Just like that. Okay. So she is a painter. She wants to be a painter extraordinaire. Her bonus trait is a muser. Um, she's creative, art lover, and neat. This is her everyday wear. Formal wear. Athletic. Sleep. Hmm. Party. And slim. Okay, so that's her. Here we have Helen Zing. Um. She is a, she wants to be a nerd brain. Her bonus trait is quick learner. She's ambitious, bookworm, and a genius. Oh. Huh. Lacey's gonna be our retail person. Helen is our scientist. And this is her everyday formal. And I did not give you those. Ah. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Get those. Okay. Athletic. Sleep. Party. And swimwear. Ah. Didn't do any of their. Kambipa Womberg. Ah, Yabasani. Ah. Oh. Yes. She's just gonna have that one. Here we have. Oh, and so that was Helen's thing. Here we have Mason Wallace. <laughs> Oh, and they're all using this custom skin overlay from The Sims Resource. Um, I'll put the link down below if I remember. Oh my god, that's not what I meant to do. And all you do is you go to Skin Detail, and it's right here. And that's it. For 
function for you. Let me just make your thumb look very different. We'll click this one. Okay. So Mason Wallace is he wants to be a bodybuilder, high met his bonus trait is high metabolism, he's active, romantic, and outgoing. Oh, Lavoy Mabiza! Hey, Twempalinga! Um, he'll have... <laughs> the swagger walk. Two. Um, Ooh. Okay, so here's his everyday outfit. Formal. Oh, let's do turn around. Ah. Formal. Hmm. Athletic. Sleep. Party. So that's Mason. And then we have Jack Andrews. He wants. Hold on. Let me just do this. Friendship Stellani. Pena Swarbo. Okay. He won't, And his walk will be. He wants to be fabulously wealthy. His um, thing is business savvy. Um, he wants to be, he's good, cheerful, and self-assured. He's going to be our doctor. Mason's going to be our detective. So we'll start with female clothing and hair and whatnot. So we actually get quite a bit. So we get this one, which this is all right, I guess. Let's see how it looks in a darker color. Um, yeah, it looks better in a darker color, I think. Um, or like an outrageous color, definitely. It looks good in those. Here, we have this, like, sort of like a bob. Oh, and here's like the icon so you can tell what is new. Um, I actually do like this one. Definitely, especially in the blonde. I think it looks good in the blonde. Um, so here's what that looks like. Then we have this one. Ooh, yes, this looks awesome. Now, if this is for teens, I'm mm. definitely going to use it because teenagers, as you guys know, constantly are doing, like, outrageous stuff with their hair uh -huh. like this. It, it looks awesome. Love this so much. Wow. And hold on, I'm just going to...
and I didn't have my microphone on. So basically what you guys just witnessed is I furnished everything but the kitchen sink. <laughs> and I just did that fake laugh for the second time. Meaning I did it when my microphone wasn't on and I still did it. I didn't get what didn't click in my head that I didn't sound like I was a robot. I'm kidding, it doesn't make me sound like a robot, but it does sound different than with regular voice. Okay, making no sense. So you, you're not getting a job because um, you can't. Um, what we are going to get though is um, activities and skills. I don't know where you would find this stuff. Adult female abstract. You can have it like a different color. I did not know this. There. Boom. But it interferes too much with the walls. Are you freaking kidding me? We have to start over again. We'll get a red one. There's no way that is in the way of the wall. Sims. So she'll constantly work on that stuff. So, um, yeah. Creative. You also get a painting doll. Oh my god, look at you being all special though. Look at you. You like to take up all the room. How careless of you. Wait, is there a porch? Because I can easily put this on the porch. There's a porch. We're putting it on the porch. Put the mannequin on the porch. <laughs> oh god. I come up with the weirdest things. I should put rugs in their rooms, huh? I'm sorry. I told you guys I was done decorating. Yeah, right. One of my ever. Is that centered? It's centered. There. Now it's centered. Okay, in here we'll get... This and take up the whole room. There we go. Fun. Oh, we'll get one for underneath that too. Be plain. Like a bright yellow rug. I told you guys I was done furnishing and I didn't even put a couch. Get it together, Corey. I know that's what you guys are thinking. I know it's true. I just can't help it, I'm so stupid. Meh. Meh. Hmm. Let me stop throwing a fit. Get a nice little welcome mat in. Oh my god, he teleported! He. Mason. Mason, don't do that. Do not teleport into the house. God, psychopath. Other awkward moments when people from your school walk by. Ew, get away. Oh, I'm not in school anymore, guys. Just so everyone knows. Just saying. I don't like seeing. I graduated. Therefore, you can suck it. There.
There we go. Yay. Okay. So. Onwards. Helen. Go find a job. Mason. Find a job. Jack. You find a job. Everyone find a job. Go. No. Go. Mason's getting his job first. Hopefully it says, like, who it's for. Oh yeah, it does. So, he's our doctor, so it says that he's going to be a medical intern and he doesn't work on Wednesdays and Thursdays. So, it says, who doesn't want to be held responsible for another sim's health and well-being? A doctor who can advance in the medical ranks will find themselves rewarded with objects like a standing surgical light and a full-size skeleton to brighten up the home nursery. What? A full-size skeleton to brighten up the home nursery. To make the deal extra sweet, you'll be able to unlock your very own hospital scrubs and patient gowns so you can play doctor at home. Ha, ha, ha. Oh. So these are professions. They're not careers, they're professions. Okay, so he's going to be working from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. for 18 bucks an hour. Good job. So, Mason is going to be our detective. So it says, do you want to be the type of cop who's never really off duty? If so, this job's for you. And we've got the rewards to support that unhealthy lifestyle. Unlock outfits like your police uniform to wear as pajamas. Teach your teen a valuable lesson for that C plus by dressing them in prisoner coveralls and transforming their bedroom into, into a virtual jail cell complete with prison bar walls and a decorative security camera. As a bonus, you can keep an eye on them with your very own one-way mirror. <laughs> That's so creepy. We're gonna do it. <laughs> now hiring a cadet for 20 bucks an hour from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. That's longer than I work on a full day. So he's gonna work Monday through Friday. Oh. A dead end job. That's exactly what this is. It's an eight to five, not a nine to five, which is even worse. Okay, an eight to five is way worse than a nine to five because that's a whole extra hour where you could be playing The Sims, and you're working Monday through Friday. Dead end job. You're not going anywhere, Mason. Not flawless. Ay ay ay. These Sims need to get it together. Okay, come on. Helen. I forgot her name. Scientist! Calling all brains! Are you the nerdy type who aspires to one day wear tin foil on your head and decorate your studio with huge bubbly tanks? A scientist who proves they've got the gray matter to change the world as we know it can unlock new outfits like the UFO hunter or objects like a swanky chemistry lab for concocting new inventions and serums. Now hiring a lab technician for 24 simoleons an hour. I've been calling them dollars. They're simoleons an hour. Um, working from 10 a.m. to 7... 10 a.m. to 7 p.m.? Are you out of your mind? Um, whatever. Money. Um, and you're working Monday through Friday. Guys, clap. Two dead-end jobs. A seven to three. This this is actually, <laughs> but he gets Monday. He gets Wednesdays and Thursdays off. Okay, guys. Wednesdays and Thursdays. He. You have your days off by yourself. Lame. He's not invited to any parties. Screw you, Jack. Okay, so you're gonna be a scientist. And if anyone named Jack is watching this video. Screw you. Just kidding. 
not screw you, screw screw anyone named Jack Andrews, because you're in my some sort. I have to pause this so I can go clean up because I almost called this game The Sims 4. I almost called it The Sims 3. This is nothing like how My Sims 3 game runs. My Sims 3 game lags. You see this? There is no lag here, guys. This, this cannot be The Sims 3, okay? Need to get that cleaned up, so I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> oh, God. I need to really get it together. Should... Should we, like, get this started and, like... I want to dress the mannequin. Okay, create... Create outfit and create a sim... I'm gonna put... Well, I'm gonna bring you guys in them with me but we're gonna put clothing on this mannequin and I think I think what we should do is like every episode just change it look at that's so scary that is so scary oh god picture oh my, that's scary thumbnail I can't she's the real MVP we can't put hair. That's her hair. Sims, Sims 4, EA. Really? Where is the rest of her head? Here we go. Yep. We're going to make a food court person. No, we're not. Okay, no hat for now. We'll come back to this. We'll come back. Tops. Something from Get to Work maybe? Or my custom content? Or this? This. Bottoms. No. No, just no. No, no, not feeling that. We'll give her leggings. Guys, we can give her leggings. I, I can put my custom content on her. God. Idiot. If you made it this far into the video, call me an idiot. the top. We'll change it. We'll make it different. Just watching a retard on a bike. You're retarded, kid. <laughs> There's retards in my neighborhood. I'm sorry. I can't help it. Oh, that sounded so insensitive, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm such an asshole. Now, if you got this far, call me an idiot.
definitely call me an idiot now. That was the last option. If you made it this far into the video, call me an asshole. Awkward moment when your brother walks right into the video. Well, into your room while you're making a video. God, ruins the mood. making a whole video on it. So, what if you'll wear glasses? The brief up. Someone's already wearing that in this thing. Yeah, the creator is. There we go. Got our mannequin. Looking fly. Is it like all automatically there or do we have to like click the dress mannequin now? If we have to click the dress mannequin button, I will be so annoyed. The graphics look so ugly on that. Do the same as the sim detail. Come on, EA. Okay, whatever. Over it. So I'm gonna end this part off right here. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.